こちらでこちらの家庭でどんな仕事をしたいと思ってますかあこれ昆布の養殖をしたいですこの勉強のためです論文を書きますこの、まあ、9月から東京水産大学で昆布の養殖を Um, in Hokkaido, I hope to learn more about the Japanese culture and to be able to improve my Japanese, which is very poor. <laughs> so I think it will be a good experience for me. Thank you. Now, Ken Sensei, have mm -hmm. you ever been to Hokkaido? Oh, Hiromi san, I knew you'd ask me that question. <laughs> I've been in Japan for many years, mm -hmm. but regrettably, I have not been in Hokkaido. But、so、perhaps、bad. this program will encourage me to go there. Yes, it's one、how、of the places you must go. <laughs> how about you? Well, actually, my father was stationed in Sapporo at one time, so、mm -hmm. I spent one summer、uh -huh. in Hokkaido.、Yes. And I think summer is the best season. Well, that's、Hokkaido. what everybody says, yes.、Mm -hmm. And you know, there's a wonderful program to、mm -hmm. let foreign students in Kanto and Kansai areas to stay with Japanese families, mostly farmers and fishermen in、mm -hmm. southern Hokkaido, and、uh, let them help these Japanese families、mm -hmm. so that、uh, they would、uh, learn more about Japan.、Mm -hmm. and this The program actually is in its fifth year. Yes, in this summer. Indeed,、mm -hmm. so we have heard. And so today we have invited to the studio、uh, Mr. Terumasa Akio, who started the whole thing, the whole program, and who has been promoting this program on a volunteer basis. And a young fellow,、uh, Mr. Ignacio Cobrezes,、um, From Spain, who participated in the program last year. Ignacio, excuse me for messing up the pronunciation of your name. I'm better at my Japanese, aren't I, Akio san? Anyway, it's very nice of both of you to come along today and give us your time. Well, now, Akio san,、uh, what actually are you doing at the moment, right well, now? Well, for the moment,、uh, I'm with. World Wildlife Fund.、Uh -huh. And prior to that,、mm -hmm. I had an English conversation school、mm -hmm. in Nanaicho in southern Hokkaido、uh -huh. with my American wife. Mm. 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 Lots of students up there. Yes. <laughs> Now, let me ask you this question right away.、Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to start a program like this? Well, when I was young, I visited many countries.、Mm -hmm. Then I felt A kind of culture exchange program, so called Man in the Field、mm -hmm. or Man in the Street, just、mm -hmm. by ordinary people.、Mm -hmm. I feel that's the most important thing for futures.、Mm -hmm. And secondly,、uh, due to international marriage, I had a <laughs> dual、uh, national son.、Mm -hmm. So one day when he came back from nursery school, he asked me that, Papa. What is Gaijin? <laughs> <laughs> And that was your answer.、Oh、goodness, that was a, a difficult one for a little <laughs> boy. Well, in Japanese, Gaijin has so many meanings.、Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't answer immediately.、Mm. Well, my wife told him, Well, you are 100% Japanese.、Mm -hmm. mm. At the same time, you are 100% American.、Mm. <laughs> so I felt it is quite important to have a, a Uh, local cultural exchange program. So, in the、mm -hmm. future, nobody told him you are Gaijin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, now,、uh, you wanted to have an exchange program or some kind of、mm -hmm. cultural program. How did you find your students, your first students?、Yeah. After I came back from、uh, abroad,、uh -huh. I visited my old university. Mm -hmm. Yes.、Uh, that is Wasta University.、Ah, yes. And I met、uh, a professor.、Mm -hmm. and He was wondering、uh, if they can have, if he can have some、uh, 
orientation mm -hmm. without any cost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for, for his foreign students? Mm -hmm. uh, for the Oregon University students. Ah, yes. uh -huh. mm -hmm. So I invite them to come to my town. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's the beginning of the, this program. The yen mm -hmm. was very strong at that time, that wasn't it? Right. So and the US dollar was really weak. weak. And the, <laughs> Japanese, uh, the foreign students were having a tough time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And at that time, did you expect this program will continue? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, but uh, I have to continue <laughs> because uh, in, um, in 1979, mm -hmm. uh, whole student came back with his friends and their friend are not universi uh, was the university student. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they request uh, to participate this kind of opportunity for a non the university uh, student. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, host family asked me to continue this uh, kind of program. Yes. So what did you actually call this program? So from second year, we set up the name mm -hmm. so called Southern Hokkaido International Cultural Exchange Center. My ah. goodness, that's quite mm -hmm. a name. Mm -hmm. And uh, how many students have you got at the moment? Well, last year, uh, 150 students mm -hmm. from 34 countries. Well, that's mm -hmm. yes. on this quite a number. Mm -hmm. quite a, and uh, what a spread of countries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting now, indeed. Ignacio, mm -hmm. in your case, uh, how did you learn about this program? Uh, I am a Catholic priest and I am attending a um, Japanese school of language mm -hmm. and last summer I wanted to go to Sonhoyar mm -hmm. in Japan so I went to the information center of the uh, school and I found out about uh, the program. Mm -hmm. Very interesting indeed. And where did you stay in Japan and what was your host family doing? Uh, I was staying in Hakodate City, ah, yes. and my host family runs an electric appliance uh, shop. Even at the beginning, I wanted to go to uh, a farmer family, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was not possible, mm -hmm. so uh -huh. I stayed with the Okawa family, and mm -hmm. I must say that uh, I was uh, very, very happy to stay with them. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, well, well. Yes. Anyway, um, we would like to ask you how this program is run. <coughs> you mentioned that there are now 150 students participating. Now, how many villages and towns are involved in this program mm -hmm. now? Well, at the beginning, uh, Nanaicho, mm -hmm. where I live, it started. Mm -hmm. uh, please take a look at this map. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have a map. So, oh, yeah. there it is. Uh, Nanaicho. Ah, there. you're right in the middle <laughs> of the whole operation. Yes. Mm -hmm. I live over there. So first year, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it started from Nanaicho. Mm -hmm. But now, altogether, 23 towns participated. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And uh, very much in that area. Mm -hmm. My goodness me. Well, now, uh, Agyo-san, how do you publicize this program? Mm -hmm. Good question. <laughs> uh, of course, we ask uh, local NHK mm -hmm. ah, yes. and uh, another newspapers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, most important things, uh, farmers, they tell to their friends. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes. mm -hmm. So it's word of mouth exactly. spreading mm -hmm. around. Well, that's a very effective mm -hmm. way of doing it, of yes. course, particularly in a local area. That's mm -hmm. right. Anyway, we have a film uh, here made by NHK Hakodate. So let's continue to talk about this program while we have a look at the film. Mm -hmm. Well, now, these students originally stayed with fishing families and uh, farmers, and here I believe they're helping them to dry kelp. Yes. Are they still mainly farmers and fishermen, well, the host families? Um, first year, uh, all host families are farmers, mm -hmm. but now oh, so many different uh, occupations families they participate. Mm -hmm. They say last year 35 percent of the host family are farmers mm -hmm. including uh, dairy farm mm -hmm. and office workers and innkeepers and so many different occupations. Too. So mm -hmm. in actual fact then anybody now exactly. if they want to be That's a right. host family can be so. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I'm always worried about uh, money side. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to ask Very important. Yes. 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 Uh, who bears the cost? Who pays the expenses? Mm -hmm. Okay. The for a student side, mm -hmm. they paid only their transportation costs from their uh, locations. Let's say from Tokyo to, to Hokkaido, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and 
uh, including uh, their uh, insurance. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for host families, they pay. Uh, they don't pay anything. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they uh, take a responsibility for the food and lodge. Food and lodge. Uh, and uh -huh. they paid three thousand yen for supporting the running cost. That's mm -hmm. uh, three thousand yen a year, is it? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To maintain the or help maintain the exactly. organization. And is that mm -hmm. compulsory? Well, it's a donation. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, obviously, they realize that you cannot run this on nothing. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, Ignacio, in your case, what language did you use? Uh, I used uh, uh, Japanese with my host uh, family, but um, with the people at the exchange office, I uh, spoke uh, through English. Mm -hmm. mm. And Akio-san, do the host family have to be able to speak English? Not at all. Uh -huh. Most of the farmers, they can't speak English at all. Uh -huh. <laughs> However, uh, in order to make a some, uh, in order to make a communication with a student, mm. they have to have they have to speak English or Japanese mm -hmm. in case something happened from our office. Yes, and obviously, of course, the student like Ignacio was going up there to practice Japanese. He doesn't want his host family talking mm. to him in English. Mm. Does he? Now mm. here they are talking about food, I believe, and we have an interview in Japanese a little later. So let's listen to the film for a moment. Mm -hmm. Eating those. ヌードル。うん。ねえ。上手。上手も平気です。日本の食事はもう慣れましたか私の嫌いなものは梅干し。けれども、普通の日本料理は大好き。毎日イカ刺身を。朝ごはんのために使った刺身を食べます。本当に美味しい。私の生まれたところはあのウェールズの南の方ですね。そしてとっても小さいな町ですね。そして私はあの夏休みの時にまたウェールズに帰ったことがあった。だからあの町はこうい
uh, host family's occupations. Ah, If yes. they are the farmer, they work as a farmer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, for instance, this one, mm -hmm. um, she stayed a typical Japanese inn. That is her daily work. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like the usual work for a woman, doesn't yeah. it? That's right. There she is amongst the yukatas. Where is she from? Uh, she came from Nepal. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. Washing and sweeping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is the second activities. Uh, local uh, people, they should have own activities. Mm -hmm. For instance, this one is in the Hakoda, they had a picnic. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yes, that's always a very good way of getting to know people. That there's some tea ceremony teachers, they have a tea ceremony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so many different activities held uh -huh. by each town. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Mm -hmm. They look as though they're having plenty of fun there. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Like a barbecue. That's right. Mm -hmm. And third activities we call the total activities. Mm -hmm. uh, one is symposium we uh -huh. held in uh, Onuma area. It's a mm -hmm. national, uh, national park. Mm -hmm. Yes. So any people who are interested on the cultural exchange program, they can participate. Mm -hmm. And the other one is a friendship party. Mm -hmm. So anybody, yes. they can participate. Yes. And the other one is um, whole 150 students stayed two nights in the cities. Mm -hmm. So a salaryman family can participate uh -huh. in this kind uh -huh. of cultural Programs. So mm -hmm. not just people in the countryside, but actually in the cities exactly. as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And fourth one is the most important one, mm -hmm. that is uh, school visiting mm -hmm. activities. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. For instance, um, he is American and he visits junior high and he talks about his countries. Mm -hmm. And in the primary school, they talk in Japanese, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but in the junior high, as much possible, a Japanese student tried to speak in English. Uh -huh. Where's and that fellow from? Uh, he came from uh, Argentines, uh -huh. mm, and he talked about own countries, so uh -huh. most of the Japanese students there, uh, that is the first time to hear about Argentines. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I suppose they wouldn't know too much about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very interesting indeed. Well now, uh, Ignacio, how did you find, when you were at one of these schools, how did you find the students responded to this mm. sudden appearance <laughs> of Akaichi? <laughs> mm. At the beginning, they were quite uh, shy and I think even afraid to speak out mm. and saying something. But after uh, some words and one song, they became very talkative. Mm. <laughs> Well, you know, it sounds very difficult to keep a Japanese child quiet at the best of times, isn't it? Even in English. Mm -hmm. Well, let's move on, and uh, let me ask you another question. Um, how do you select the host families, Akio-san? How well, are they picked? Well, first of all, we ask whole host one to not have any discrimination by religious or nationalities. Mm -hmm. That's the only things we ask. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, they can uh, request the sex, mm -hmm. a boy or a girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, mm. uh, were all the members of the family very eager to accept foreign students? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Especially grandma, grandpa, mm -hmm. uh, they refuse for, uh, and especially wives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's very understandable, that's isn't right. it? Mm -hmm. Because uh, I expect they have most of the work to do. That's right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And also they would worry about food, wouldn't they, Akio? Exactly. And, and mm -hmm. accommodation, mm -hmm. etc., right. mm -hmm. etc. Et mm -hmm. So at the beginning we have to convince them. Uh -huh. But once they have an experience, they like to continue every year. Isn't mm -hmm. that interesting? So this is the best way of advertising mm -hmm. the program, isn't mm -hmm. it? Now how about the other way around? Are the students allowed to select the family they go to? Where in the actually most of the students they like to stay in the dairy farm, mm -hmm. but we don't have enough dairy farms. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, I not. Uh, we arrange a, uh, we have to arrange a different uh, families. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as much as possible, we try to be good to go between. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you kind of match the family to the uh, particular student. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. <laughs> <laughs> what about the communication between the students and mm -hmm. the host families, mm -hmm. Ike? Well, um, some students, mm -hmm. they can't speak any uh, Japanese, so we thought it might have some difficulties. Mm -hmm. However, uh, 
language itself is not so important. Mm -hmm. When they work together, mm -hmm. they have an aim, well, they, have a, they have a some sort of body language mm -hmm. they can communicate. So language is not the key point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he looks happy. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, a milk bath. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, goodness me, oh. yes, having a lot of fun. Anyway, you said that uh, host families are very eager to have foreign students again. Mm -hmm. So that means uh, these people learn something from their experience. That's right. Um, each family learns different things, mm -hmm. but nevertheless, if I said, in gen general speaking, uh, they felt the world peace is quite important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you think this really uh, makes them realize that international communication does mean something, and it's not just a, an ideal. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a, something that they can mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. practice. Mm -hmm. Now, Ignacio, in your case, what do you think you gained through the experience? Of course, I gained a lot of uh, Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, besides uh, this, uh, I think uh, I could uh, understand uh, for the first time that uh, Japanese people is not uh, so close as uh, we have learned in our own countries mm -hmm. and they are open people like uh -huh. uh, everywhere mm -hmm. like everybody else mm -hmm. yes and you're not meeting them in a sort of hothouse atmosphere in the capital uh -huh. city mm -hmm. you're seeing them we don't really have uh, that chance here in tokyo for instance mm -hmm. of course yes it's uh, i think it's marvelous well now we've talked about the sort of serious uh, cultural mm -hmm. points what mm -hmm. did you gain what did you achieve? but but what was the most entertaining, mm -hmm. funny thing, <laughs> delightful <laughs> thing for you? Uh, there are a lot of uh, funny things, but uh, maybe the most interesting for me um, was that uh, I was able to communicate, and especially with uh, the children, the family. Uh -huh. I mean, if I made uh, some mistake in Japanese, uh, mm -hmm they understood me perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't criticize no, you for, for making mistakes. Mm. Yes, children are marvelous mm. because they're so natural and spontaneous uh, yes. and uh -huh. curious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Mm. Anyway, well. this program is still quite young mm -hmm. and I suppose some participants uh, would suggest some improvement mm -hmm. on the program. Mm -hmm. Could you uh, tell us some examples of these? Uh -huh. um, Many students, mm -hmm. they stayed in Japan for a few years, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. they like to participate in the different area if they have a similar cultural exchange program. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's a, uh, one. And the other one is um, from uh, some students from some countries, they feel that it's quite expensive to participate. Uh -huh. So if we can provide some scholarship mm -hmm. for the transportation costs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, students, of course, throughout the world are mm. always a bit hard up, aren't yes, they? And so obviously money, as usual, is mm -hmm, a problem. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, this program is just the beginning of mm -hmm. an exchange and getting to know you. So I think it's very important to know, for example, Ignacio, do you keep up with the host family you were with last year? Uh, I keep uh, writing then and they write me back and mm -hmm. even uh, they sent me uh, tape uh, with uh, Spanish music and records. I thought you were say sent tapes to correct their Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Spanish lessons. <laughs> now perhaps Akio-san, you could tell us some other examples. Yeah. Um, for instance, you know, the, uh, the student who participated in the first time, mm -hmm. they, uh, he already in the United States mm -hmm. and he got married. Mm -hmm. So uh, at the wedding, he invited He's a Japanese brother. Really? Oh, My right. goodness, so that's wonderful, isn't it? So that's a real right. crossover there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and there are so many uh, uh, com uh, communication there are. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, a uh, host family, they have relatives in Tokyo or mm -hmm. another big cities. Mm -hmm. So uh, the host family requests the student to visit their, mm -hmm. host, uh, their uh, de de relatives mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. Tokyo or Osaka mm -hmm. or wherever, yes. Mm -hmm. So it's expanding the contacts mm -hmm. all the time, mm -hmm. isn't it, which That's is the right. idea. Now, we would like to get back uh, to the program itself. Uh -huh. uh, Akio-san, you publish this uh, thick report mm -hmm. each year, and uh, I don't think it's cheap. 
<laughs> and <laughs> also you will have to pay mm -hmm. for correspondence mm -hmm. and also I suppose you will have to travel mm -hmm. a lot uh, for the program. So it, this is a rather costly operation, isn't it? How do you finance yourself? Thank you. <laughs> That's, <a good> <laughs> <questions>. <laughs> yes. That's the most uh, headache uh, matter mm -hmm. in order mm -hmm. to continue this kind of uh, program. Yeah, of mm -hmm. course, yes. Of course, we ask 3,000 yen for the, uh, mm -hmm. to the uh, host families, mm -hmm. but of course it's not enough. Mm -hmm. So we ask small shops to pay one uh, 10,000 yen for the advertisement uh -huh. when we publish this kind of uh, brochure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And secondly, we request the local government to support this mm -hmm. program. Mm -hmm. And of course, you would presumably like to try and get money from industry and exactly. companies. Uh, it's an uphill struggle, I'm sure. But how about future plans, Akio-san? Well, uh, at the moment, uh, I like to continue this program forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So oh, I like to have one full-time uh, person to take care of everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, in the future, it's my, it, it is my dream. Um, as I said before, many students would like to participate in a different area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I like to ask uh, another area to uh, provide this kind of cultural program. Mm -hmm. Then we can make uh, some sort of association. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, there must be many people in Japan who have similar ideas as you have, mm -hmm. uh, Akio-san. Anyway, uh, we're running out of time rather rapidly. Uh, any final comments uh, mm. from you, Ignacio? Just uh, five words. Uh, I will go m m this uh, summer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's the best, the best <laughs> recommendation <laughs> that you could possibly give the program. And uh, you're to be congratulated, Akio-san, on your drive mm. and determination. Let's hope it keeps going and expands. Yes. So, thank you both very much for coming along today. Thank you. Thank and you. until next time, it's goodbye from us all here. Goodbye. <laughs>